In this section, I will explain Blazor architecture. Before explaining Blazor architecture, let me first explain web applications architecture in general. In typical web applications, for every request which is sent from client to the server, we receive HTML in a response. For example, if we see the following figure, here we are sending first HTTP request from client to the server and in response, server is sending HTML to the client. Similarly, for all other requests which we send from client to the server, we are receiving HTML in a response from the server side. And whenever we receive HTML on the client side, the page is reloaded on the client machine. Next, we have a single page applications. In these applications, for first request, we receive HTML in the response from the server side. However, for other requests, we only receive data in the form of JSON. For example, if we see the following figure, here we are sending first HTTP request from the client to the server and in response, server is sending back HTML to the client. However, for other requests which we send from the client to the server, server is only sending data in the form of JSON. To send data from the server, we use REST API at the server end. But the question is how we update uh, HTML on the client end. To update HTML on the client end, we use JavaScript. This is the architecture of single page applications. Now let's look how Blazor works. In Blazor, we have two versions. The first one is Blazor Client, in which the architecture is similar to single page applications. In the first request, we receive HTML from the server side and for other requests, we receive data in the form of JSON. And to send the data, we use RESTful APIs. And these APIs are built using c -sharp. To update the HTML at the client end, we do not use JavaScript. We use c -sharp as well on the client end. This means there is only one language which is used on the client end and on the server end, that is c -sharp. The second type is Blazor Server. In Blazor Server version, everything is processed on the server end. This means we use C-sharp on the server end and for the client end, we have Blazor JavaScript file, which is used to communicate between client and server. And this communication is done using SignalR and that is WebSockets. This is the brief introduction of Blazor architecture. And in the next section, we will discuss the architecture in detail.